Hello everybody, welcome back once again to me trying to stop a puck for the foreseeable future. Um, we're not doing so hot right now actually. The only saving grace is that our division is really bad this year. So we got that going for us, but other than that, it's not looking great. The team is 22-19-7, and, and um, I mean our stats individually are not phenomenal by any standard either. And let's have a look at the lines again, as I do. Um, I think we should be far enough in that the comments will not interrupt, but in case they are, I just killed a few more seconds, so here we go. Here's the lines. We got Nuge, McDavid, and Pugliarvi, Dreisaitl, Hyman, and Yamamoto, and then our bottom six is pretty solid, other than the fact that we have a defenseman there, again. So that's interesting. I guess we have some injuries once more. Clefbaum, Bouchard, and Achari are all out. Great. Um, actually, hold on. No, Clefbaum is, he's just scratched. He's not even hurt or anything. He's out. Okay. Regardless, let's look at the defense. We got Nurse Barry, CC, Goligoski, Keith, and Broberg. And then in net, we have TJ and Pavel. All right. So there you go. That is the team at the moment. And let's play some hockey here. We are facing the Winnipeg Jets. Let's go ahead and see if this game is worth jumping into or not. That's a good start. All right, definitely worth hopping into this game here. 25 shots, holy. All right, TJ, playing well out there today. Hopefully, when I jump in, I do the same thing, but no promises. Let's do this thing. All right, nice. I'm going to try to remember to wear some alternate jerseys next game, because I feel like I haven't done that in a bit. Maybe I have, but for some reason, it feels like I haven't, so I'm going to try to do that. And I don't know if it's because there's nice weather coming around or what, but I kind of feel like... Those, like, seasonal allergies are starting to get to me, which isn't fun. So, yeah, let's, um, just kind of hope that's not going to be a thing. Otherwise, I'm going to have to stop talking every two seconds to sneeze or, you know, wipe the tears away. Pavelski to Connor. That was a awful save attempt on my, on my part. We are less than three minutes in. I mean, it's probably going to be even less for you guys, but... I've been recording for a grand total of three minutes, and I'm already stuttering and just tripping over my own words. But we have the lead now, so that is splendid. Yes, he got the rebound. Let's watch a replay. Why not? I am intrigued to see what happened here, even though I witnessed it once already. So a shot through a crowd. Hellebuck saved it. Rebound came right out. That is what our defense would do right there. Leave the guy wide open for the rebound. So I'm glad to know that we are not the only team that does such a thing. All right, well, that's a good way to start the third period, I must admit. We're up by one now, and as we saw, the Winnipeg Jets did have a lot of shots, so I'd have to play really bad in this third period in order for me to ruin that save percentage. And that is definitely doable. That is 100% achievable, so <laughs> hopefully we don't do that. However, Winnipeg does seem terrifying right now, and I am not a fan. No, get it out. Come on, dude. How many chances have we had? And they just keep holding the line. Finally. This third period has been all us, really. At least for the last several minutes. Because we have gotten a lot of chances. Had a lot of pressure. There's another good one for Hyman in the slot. But it will not go. We are really playing well right now. Holy crap. Good job, Oilers. We do need it, though. Because, as you see, our record, not great this time around. Playoffs are still 100% possible. In fact, I believe we are still in a playoff spot because, again, as I mentioned, our division is very, very not good this year. All right, that's a good stop. 13-10 remaining in the third period here. We still have the 2-1 to -one lead. And Connor Hellebuck down there is quite the goaltender. So if we are able to keep up with him then I am going to consider that a humongous accomplishment. And so far, so good. Ennis! Oh my word, he gets sprung. I mean, okay. All right. They really need to work on what CPUs do in that situation because they just like hustle and then give up. Oh, nice hit. That was huge. Radulov does a little deke. Goes for a pass in the middle. That would have been a great opportunity if it got through. Pavelski loses it into the corner. Goligoski's gonna get hit by Lowry. No, not like this. Oh, 
That was actually a terrifying shot. I hate when they come across like that and just sort of like open up and yeah, it's... I don't know what to do. And for some reason, those are the ones that make me slide around and panic the most. And then that's usually why they go in. If I would have just stayed in one spot, it would have been fine. But I don't do that. So yeah, I don't know why those shots are the ones that throw me off so much, but they do. Here come the Jets again. They're in behind the net. Not hugging the post. I'm not doing it. Ooh. Big stop there. We need to get it out. No! Don't do that. I hate when they pass the puck in front of the net. It absolutely scares the living crap out of me. Shifley to Neil Pionk. Almost gets a shot through the crowd. He still had it though. And I don't know what happened there. I think maybe they just nudged him or shoved him before he actually got the shot off. But that was... A very up-close opportunity for the Jets, and those scrambles are also terrifying because you don't know when the puck is going to come towards you, if the puck is going to come towards you, at what angle, at what speed. It is just very random at that point, and let's go! That gives us a two-goal lead, baby! And now, your Oilers. Yours. You. You. Edmonton Oilers are up 3-1. Let's go. All right. Another rebound, too. Here's Kyle Connor McDavid. Gets it to Pavelski. Now Pionk has it at the point. Holy, dude. He's trying to kill Kyle Connor, apparently. Because that shot was off the mark. That was such a bad shot. That was such a bad shot. And I just didn't react fast enough. I didn't get over on time. No way, dude. Evgeny Malkin on the Winnipeg Jets. I wonder how that happened. Maybe it was offseason. Or trade perhaps regardless it is back to a one goal game oh dude i should not have let that in there are a few other chances in this game that you know if they would have went in i would have been like yeah okay that one not one of them that should not have entered the net but here we are with a one goal game in the third period three minutes remaining let's go come on yes big battle win great stuff and now we enter the zone hyman is in but Pionk is all over him. The Jets are here to play. They want this overtime. And I just want to win because we need them. We really do. The regular season games are, you know, sometimes not as important as... Well, they're definitely not as important as playoff games. But I mean, like, some are definitely more important than others. But we need some wins right now. Because we are definitely... Not dominating by any standard. Bucky's probably going to get pulled any second now. Because they are down by one goal. And they do have possession. And there he goes. Is he going to go back? Nope, they committed. They committed to it. Oh, and that's why. Because they do have the puck. For some reason, I thought we were in control. But it turns out that was wrong. Yes, he was behind the net. Nice. He dishes it up to Nuge. Oh, man. They are putting on a ton of pressure right now. We can't get... Anywhere near the blue line. Nice passing. McDavid's just going to bring it back, apparently. All right, I see you. Passes in front of the net. And ultimately, it works out. Paul Yarvey's going to rip one. Oh, that's just wide of the net, though. DeMello. And the Jets coming up with 10 seconds left here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. That's a save. Perfetti to Wheeler. In front to Malkin, who goes for a second one. But that will be stopped with the blocker. And the Oilers managed to hold on for a much-needed victory there. 3-2, I think was the final score. Yeah, I believe. All right. Nice. That was a good performance as well. I'll probably get one of the stars, considering they had 32 shots. Don't think it'll be good enough for first star, but you never know. It's possible. Rebound. Lovely goal. Probably second star, right? That's my guess. Yeah, there he is. a boy. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle, if you will. And see what James has to say about the whole league. What's up, James? All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Absolutely. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. The Oilers took to the ice to battle the Jets. Edmonton puts sure on did. a clinical defensive effort and skate off with the win. Okay. The Islanders were hoping to play spoiler against the Maple Leafs. The New York Islanders talked a big game going. Are we in against the Ducks? Oh, we're not. Clean sheet Come on, shot. Pavel. The Ducks yes, to quiet got us a dub on the road against the Coyotes. Anaheim with our agent weathering the storm and they win it in the shootout. 
What's going on, sir? Lots more to get to on the ice. Stay with us, everybody. Fan of the Oilers just won a large poster signed by everyone on the team, and management called to ask if you want to add a phrase to your signature. Uh, sure. Why not? To one of our... <laughs> um... I feel like I could just, like, mix together a whole bunch of stuff here and get brand likability and team likability. Uh, to you who wants to be the best. Always go for the top, except nothing less. Yo, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Holy crap. Timothy Jimothy and the Edmonton Oilers. There you go. Am I going to get a bit of both there or is it just going to be brand? Oh, yeah. You'll love to see it. 225 for brand, too. Don't mind if I do. The Mini Wild. 29, 19, and oh, they're seventh in the league at this point in time. Let's see if it's worth jumping into or not. Okay, that's fine. And, oh, what a second period from your Edmonton Oilers. Okay, I'm going to jump into this one, and then we'll just sim four games after this again. Kirill the Thrill, and they got Zykov there, too. He's got an X-Factor, and they have Marc-Andre Fleury. When did I start this BA Pro? I definitely started it before that happened. Wow, what are the odds? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Team play around the boards, and by that I mean a direct off-the-boards pass to Darnell Nurse, who is approximately 1.5 feet away from me. Lindholm over to Dumba, who is going to get hit. That's good. Kaprizov goes for a shot. Oh, boy. Mini is here to play. Nice. Good defense. Bad defense. Don't <laughs> skate towards the net with it. I do not approve of that tactic. All right. There we go. Get a breakout. Get a break. What are you doing? You had all the time in the world to get the puck out, and you decided to hold on to it for dear life. Explain yourself. It's been a pretty neutral battle so far. No team has really been in the driver's seat, I would say, anyway. And I don't think I've even had a shot yet, actually. It's been a lot of neutral zone battling up till this point. But, uh, you know, I'm fine with this. If this keeps up, absolutely I am okay with this. Yarn Crook into the mitten. I'm not passing that. Nice try, Boldy. Look at this guy standing in front of me. Look at this dude. Thinks I'm going to give him a free goal? Well, you're probably right. I probably would have. <laughs> but I guess this time, you just didn't get lucky. I managed to use every fiber of my being to not pass the puck out. You know what? I take it back. It's actually getting a lot easier to hold the puck. And, you know, the, the urge to constantly pass it out is not as strong as it used to be. So that's nice. You know, I've got some self-control in that category now, which has... As you guys know, if you've watched any of my Be A Pros ever, that doing that one particular play, aka being a goalie and of admitting it out, has cost me a lot. So I'm glad that, you know, we are, we've grown. We've grown as players. We have matured <laughs> as a goalie. I guess a little fantasy hockey update for you guys, which uh, is once again going to be severely outdated by the time this video Enters the public eye. Didn't make the playoffs. Did not make the playoffs. There was 12 teams. I finished 8th. And I thought the way that it worked was there was going to be the top 8 teams make it to the playoffs. Because there's 3 weeks of playoffs. So, you know, that makes sense to me, right? But, no. Apparently, 2 teams just get a bye. And then I'm in the lower final thing. And then I have a bye. So, I don't know why it's set up like that exactly but that's the way it's working so yeah unfortunately we will not have any heroic auto draft legends fantasy dub this year but it was a good effort and i had some fun you know i got to uh pick up some new players scout some new guys and it was overall a successful year considering the circumstances you know of the the auto draft which typically at least historically, from what I've heard, has not worked out for people. Dreisaitl gets a pass to Yessi. We are moving this puck around splendidly right now. Good try. All right. Well, you know what? We are still up by two, which is nice. Third period. Time is running out. Yarncrook crashing the net. Where the heck is it? There it is. Okay, I'll give that to you, Nurse. You have a free path. And you made a nice breakout pass to Nuge with it. So I appreciate you. Nuge goes to Barry. Rips a shot on net. But Mark andre will kick that one aside battle in the corner fire me vertical we win it what a save by flurry and he makes another save this guy is playing stupendous right now 
It feels like one of those games where, you know, if he wasn't playing as good as he was, this game would have been out of control a long time ago. So he's done a good job of keeping the mini wheats in it, but you know what? I've been doing just fine back here myself, and we are hoping for another big W because we are in need of them. And yeah, so far, we've played one game and we won it. We simmed one game with Pavel and we won that. And if we can hold on here, that'll be three straight W's in a row, which is massive. Get the boys back on track here. And then we will sim four games. Check out the stats to see where we are in the team standings as well as how all of the members of your Edmonton Oilers are doing. And yeah, I know that McDavid kind of fell off. He was way beyond point of game, and now he's basically just point of game, which I'll, there's nothing to, you know, criticize. It's still a very good performance. But for McDavid, you, you just expect a little bit more, you know? You just do. You don't you don't mean to do it, but you just do. We've entered the final minute of play. Kirill the Thrill gets it up to Hartman. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Hartman. Thank you. Oh, man. It skipped over my stick. Are you kidding me? Nice. I love that hit. They pulled their tendy, which means the cage is open and Leon's going to dump it in. That's, a, you know what? Smart hockey play, an unselfish hockey play. Way to go, Leon. I like it. Zuccarello now. He's in and they will go offside uh, with 30 seconds left in the third period. Empty net. Two goal lead for your boys. I have not let up a goal so far in this game. I haven't had a whole lot of shots against me either. But, regardless, the ones that I have had against me have not gone in. So I'm happy with how I've performed. And now we have the final 15 seconds. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Erickson Eck. Don't. Ooh. No, not like this. What a save. Get out of here. Love it. Seven seconds. Yes, he is going to spin off and give it to CeCe, who gives it out to Goligoski in the middle to pull Yarvi. And that is all she wrote. A 3-1 victory for your Edmonton Oilers. Which star did I get this game? I might actually be first star. A 27 save performance. Only one goal against. Yep. Definitely first star. Leon Dreisaitl is second. And there you go. TJ. First star of the game, baby. What's up, James? How, how are things doing around the entire league today? I was actually just about to ask. So I'm glad you're gonna answer. Busy night of action on the ice. Let's Definitely take a look was. At some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Oilers were in a dog oh, yeah? road against the Wild. Edmonton posts the win with a strong defensive front when it matters. Absolutely most. ran. The Bruins were hoping to grab two points up against the Islanders. The okay. Islanders. We have Chicago. Let's sim it. See what happens here. They are doing good. They are currently 10th in the league. So let's go first period. Nice start. Second. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Love that. Oh! I do love that. I mean, I don't love they only have 24 shots and 5 goals. But I do love the fact that we just had a 4 goal third period. And took home an absolute W. What about second? Let's see. Yeah, I got pulled. I thought so. Alright. Well, not a great performance to say the least. Three stars, there you go. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are the Edmonton Oilers' next opponent. That's a solid start. Good stuff. Nice. All right, that's just a good game all around. Three stars. Timothy Jimothy with a first star performance. Yet again, we might have it. No, 897. Okay, I thought we were going to be pretty close, and we are pretty close, but back, not quite uh, there. Big game looming tonight, and I'll tell you what. Big game. Uh, Look who's in goal, right? The rookie's getting the start, and from what I understand, Look who's the in coaching goal. staff after the morning skate actually looked and challenged him to say, hey, we want to keep the good times going. We want to turn this five-game win streak into a six-game win streak, and we need your help to do it. Yeah, no I pressure. I like the challenge. I like the expectation. You're here for a reason. So play oh, like I forgot to wear we'll different jerseys. Deliver, and we'll, find out tonight. well, Smashville, let's see if we can get six in a row. Let's go, boys. James, well, zip it. First period. Okay. All right. Second. Okay. All right. Third period. No! No! Oh, man. All right. Well, whatever. 
whatever. Still a five-game win streak. Obviously, the coach is going to be like, you are the worst goalie in the history of the world. I can't believe you lost us that game. But it's okay. We need to sim one more. And then we are all done for today. Promise failure. Yaha. Yeah okay. And again, after this season, as long as my teammate rating, teammate thingy, is at 2,000, then I believe we're getting an X Factor slash ability. So we're definitely still on pace for that. And we're in it against Smashville again. Okay. First period. Mm-hmm. Second. Nice. Shutout. An absolute shutout. Are you kidding me? Look at that. How did... How? How does he get first start? That dude letting a goal. I didn't do that. And I gotta bring it back to goaltending here for a second. Right back. Between the pipes. Congratulations, young man. Your 30th career win already in the National Hockey League. No That's easy it. feat. What a job by the kid to be so good so soon in this league. And We're seventh in the NHL now. Wow. Is no easy what a feat. U turn. Uh, this quickly. Uh, some of the other storylines we're kind of tracking from this one. You look at. All right, well, let's sim up to our next game. We are in against the Ottawa Senators. Let's have a look at the stats, shall we? So we should be first in the division because our division was stinky, right? Yeah, um, we are one point up on the Canucks right now. Good stuff. And we are seventh in the NHL, I believe it said. Oh, we're eighth. Okay, we are eighth now. Winnipeg Jets have just passed us. That's okay. Toronto has 51 games, we have 55, and they are one point below us. That isn't good. All right, well, here you go. These are the standings for now. And let's look at the individual player stats. McDavid, 57 in 55. Still doing good. We got 49 from Dreisaitl and Nuge. 39 from Pogliarvi. 37 from I'm in the Kitchen Yams Everywhere. And yeah, there you go. That's the whole team. If we go to goaltenders, we have a 900, baby. Come on. There it is. What a way to end the video. And we are, we are very similar. We both have a 294, and he has a 901. I have a 900. That is wild. Okay. Yeah, things are looking good, actually. We turned it around that video. We needed that. Absolutely huge. Okay. Looks like the Edmonton Oilers are on the right track again here now. Let me just go to the calendar, see where we are exactly. The trade deadline's gotta be coming up, it is. Okay, so it's right there. February, March, April. Okay, so we still have a few games left for sure. <laughs> we are not short on games remaining. But uh, yeah, we're, we're in a good spot, I like it. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like, that would be sick. And I'll see you soon.